What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel with your girl Trin. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're doing a review on Polaroid camera and the Polaroid lap. So before we get into the video, I just want to let y'all know my birthday is coming up May 18th. Um, the video might actually be posted after that. I don't know how I'm really going to do it, but anyway, just give me to 500 subs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn notifications to get notified every time I post a video. Yeah, and if you're new, please put that subscribe button because it will help me so much to get to my 500 sub goal. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. Okay, guys, I, I you guys are probably wondering what these things are. I'm obviously going to go into details on both of these. So let's start off with the name. This is called, I think, just a Polaroid camera. Polaroid eye type camera, I believe it's called. It basically just looks just like this. Has the camera view on, I'm gonna show you every little detail. So they have a camera view you can look in the, so you can take the picture, you look in to see if you can take the picture. Right here is the on switch. You turn it on here, this is, it's, um, it's actually off right now. Okay, so then you turn it on by switching that button and a green light pops up just to tell you that it's on. The charger connected to USB is right here if you need to charge it. And I believe this here is for the flash, if you want the flash on or not. Yeah, so now let's go to the front. Up here, we have portrait mode. I'm in selfie mode, and if you don't want to do selfie mode, you know you want to take it like, like a regular picture, then you put it on the other mode when you want to take a picture of trees or you know like background stuff so if you want to take a picture of that stuff you will switch it to over there and the picture will come out more further it'll be further from you i should say so yeah and then also these means how much film you have left so i only have two film in here but i have more film i could put in if i run out i will show you guys the film i use just keep watching this lets me know i have two films left and i think it comes in a pack of 10 Oh, eight. It actually comes with eight film. So you only get eight films in this Polaroid. So it's kind of a bad thing because film is expensive, guys. It's like 30 bucks for like one film, to be honest. Okay, but also mine came with a strap. Um, It, would, it didn't come on it. It came inside the box, obviously, which is what the box came in was this. Came in this type of box. It's basically what it looks like when you buy it. One step. I think oh. Yeah, this is by one step. I don't know if that's a brand or not. I'm not too, too confident. But yeah, this is basically what the box looks like. And it came with a strap to hook on your neck so you can, if you're ever at Disneyland or any place you just love to take pictures, you just snap, boop, take the picture. Okay. And then the next thing is the red button here, which is used to take the picture. You hold that down and a flash, if your flash is on, the flash will come out from right here and poof. A picture and then it will come out from right here i'm gonna show you guys in the video so stay tuned i'm gonna take a picture and show you guys so don't forget you're missing out on anything so obviously this is the camera this right here is bluetooth so this camera connects to your phone if you are far away and obviously you can't press this red button you can have a bluetooth on your phone there's an app called polaroid i post what the app looks like right here an app called Polaroid that you use to press the button on your phone so you don't have to do it through the camera. And this is not sponsored. I wish it was, but it's not sponsored at all. I'm just telling you all the details. So you press this Bluetooth button and on your phone you have portrait mode. Um, I think you could do just regular mode. You can do so many different modes and pictures. I'm going to show you guys, you know, a little, a little later on a Polaroid app through this camera. So yeah, that's basically all. It's actually very simple. To put the film in, You, I don't want to open it because obviously it has film in it. And if you open it, the air will let out and your camera will not work anymore, sadly. So please don't open it if you have film in it. That's like a warning. <laughs> don't ever do that. But yeah, you open this little sliding thing here, open it, and it puts film in. And then you close it. Shut. Kind of like that. This camera is actually very simple. I was so happy when I got it. Yeah, I was so happy when I got this camera, but let's just move on to the pictures I have taken with the camera. I'm going to show you guys like two pictures I have taken and, and explain to you why they came out a certain way and why, you know, some pictures are different. But let's just get into it. 
Okay, guys, I want to give you guys a little bit of background on cameras because if you're really insert, uh, if you're really interested in buying one of these cameras, I want to let y'all know the benefits and pros and cons to other cameras. I have had the Fuji camera, the little square one. I'll pop up a picture here what it looks like. A little square kind of camera that I had. And I want to show you guys what pictures I took and how it came out. To me, it wasn't beneficial because once, probably because I kept dropping it, but it wouldn't work. The battery, to me, always died. I don't think it's a charger. I think now you actually have to buy batteries. You have to buy batteries to have it work. You know, this one's just a charger, so it's so much easier. Plug it in and that's it because you keep i still have the same charger that came with that so it wasn't no replacing i have to replace batteries a lot with the fuji camera and also the pictures are really small let me tell you guys this is for a fuji film okay this is the quality and this is what it looks like obviously i took it vertically and this is from the polaroid lab this is from the polaroid lab as you can tell there's a very big difference between this tiny photo and this big photo. This is the Fuji one and this is the Polaroid one. The difference is honestly, um, the difference is astronomical, obviously the size. I'm not sure everything about a Fuji camera. I kind of gave up on it because I didn't really like it. So I wasn't like, I didn't want to learn more about it since I was getting a new one anyway. And I just didn't like it general but that's my opinion of course other people probably like it but this is the picture i took on my polaroid lab of me at the angel stadium it was not me but i took a picture of the angel angel stadium <laughs> while i was there this was a really fun day but obviously there is different film you could put in your polaroid camera why it has this black thing around it and this picture i took and has a white frame around it there are different type of frames you can use um for your polaroid camera you can either buy white it's like film you know this type of film you can buy a white background like you want or you can buy like a black frame so and also come out with different quality this is like more vintage this is more like i don't know how to say it like regular i don't know but obviously these are two different tones and whatever film you pick is the aesthetic of a picture you're going that's going to get print out so yeah now i'm about to go into the polaroid camera okay guys i also want to tell you guys some pros of the instant mac the box i got with my with this instant max camera i got so many great things in the box i got a book to put all the memories in i also got some covers that you actually put over it to make it a different color but you got to put something over it it doesn't automatically come printed like it so that was some pros i actually got a lot of stuff like hang on a wall type of stuff paper clips and all that stuff to use in this big old box of stuff for the fuji film but for this camera i didn't really get much because the camera odd it does a lot on its own it does a lot on its own so it doesn't really need much to me accessories wise everything on this camera does is perfectly it is really easy to navigate this camera and yeah we're just gonna move on to the polaroid lab and then we're gonna go take a picture with this camera to show you guys how it comes out okay guys the next thing i have is my polaroid lab this is the exact same thing as the polaroid they're the exact same brand one step um i'm not sure yeah it takes the same film it does literally everything the same obviously having both of these means you have to buy double the film which is kind of more expensive i know but yeah if you love to take pictures and you love how aesthetically pleasing pictures come out this is for you and that won't matter because you'll be happy you know but I'm gonna tell you guys basically all around what this really does. So it's not on, I hope it's not dead. I really hope it's not dead. We're just gonna start in the back. And the back right here tells you how much it is charged. It's not on, but let's turn it on so you, I can see how much it's charged. So when it comes on, this thing pops up. As you can see, it went up a little more. And it tells me how much it's charged. Obviously I have two. I don't know if it's 2%, but two dots left. And this is where the USB, this also only charges. It doesn't take no batteries. So that's a plus for me. And the power buttons right here, I press this to make it go up. And then here are some line stripes like rainbows. Those are important, but I'm gonna get into that later in the video. So keep watching. Also this red button, it means, do I not have 
This red button means how you take the picture out, of course. The red button is how you take the picture out. If you press this, then obviously the picture will come out from the Polaroid. But you guys are probably wondering, well, how does it work? Let's get into it. So if you take this cover off, this is a cover for the Polaroid film. And it looks like this. I, I think it's like a camera inside. And, you know, I don't know what this really means. But basically what you do, I'm probably going to have a... I'm going to have... I'm going to do another clip, but the quality might change because I'm going to film it on my iPad, basically on how it works. So let's just go into that clip so I can show you guys how this really works. So if I explain it, it's not going to make sense. You have to actually see it. Okay, guys, I am in a new position. I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm sorry for the weird quality. I couldn't film this on my phone because my phone, obviously, I needed to... I need my phone to do this Polaroid thingy. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. So this is my phone right now, and right now I have to go to the Polaroid app. The Polaroid app looks like that colorful one right here in the top, I guess for you guys is right, left, whatever. But the colorful rainbow is the one I'm going to click on. So I click on that, and it brings me to this screen. Okay, so right now, guys, I'm going to give you a little tour of the app. So right here, as you can see, is the actual Polaroid Lab actual uh Thing, you know I don't know how to explain it the actual Polaroid picture so if you click that you print out pictures from your Polaroid lab now from your Polaroid camera now if you press the Polaroid camera like I was telling y'all there's Bluetooth so this is a remote and you press this button here you connect it to your Bluetooth first so you turn your Bluetooth on and it connects to your it connects to your Polaroid camera but obviously you got to find a Bluetooth name I'm not sure what it's called there's a self-timer. This is your remote to just press it. There's also a self-timer in case you want it to take in a certain amount of time. I think you go all the way up to like 10 minutes. You go all the way up to 12 seconds, I mean. The most is 12 seconds and the least, I believe, is one second. So that's also the timer and you press this button on your phone when you're ready for the timer to start. Next, they also have a portrait mode. Basically, portrait mode, like on your phone, everything in the background is blur blurry and it only focuses on your face or the main subject that's in the picture. I'm not sure what double exposure mean. I think it just makes your picture look a little brighter. That's what I'm guessing. This is a noise trigger. So it means how, you know how you see me talking and it's going up. Whatever noise is triggered, it will take a picture if you're pointing at it. So if it's like a loud noise, like if I talk loud, see how I'm talking low guys and it's not saying anything. But if I were to talk high, it will go higher. So and it's a noise trigger, so when you want to take a picture and it's something loud, you can just use that and you press the button and it'll take a picture. But now onto the Polaroid Lab. So I'm going to tell you guys how this basically works. You can take as many photos as you want, but the con thing, you can print out as many photos as you want. But the con thing is when you want to print out photos, like say this is a single, if you want to print out one photo, that takes one film. If you want to print out two photos, that takes double the film. So just know that if you want, because I'm going to show you guys really quick because I'm a visual learner. So this might help some of y'all too. I printed out this picture from my phone. You put your phone on. It might be hard to explain. I'm sorry if I'm so bad at explaining this, guys. But you put your phone on here and the pictures come out. I'm going to show you guys later, but that's the basic of it. I printed out these pictures. Obviously, this took three films. It wasted. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was going to come out all together. But I kind of just wasted three films when I did this. It's like a puzzle picture. So, obviously, you put it together to try to make it, like, back to a whole. So, it's supposed to be like this. This is my mom, guys. Just to say. <laughs> I printed out a picture of her because I had it in my phone. And, basically, the picture at the end is her mouth. I don't know if y'all can see it because my hands are in a way badly. But yeah. Okay, this is basically how it looks. So this is obviously her and it's like a puzzle. So each picture you print out, there's a puzzle to it and you connect the puzzle together if you want. And yeah. So that's only the bad, the con about this Polaroid lab. It wastes your film. So now I'm about to show you guys how I print out a picture. Right now, as you can see, I have no film. This is why no yellow lights are popping up. So I'm going to switch my film right now and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Uh, the film I have right now is this color type, so it's going to come out like this. The border is going to be in this color. I honestly just buy all different type of film because I want to try new things. Yeah, let's open it. 
So this is what it looks like, the packaging, when you open it. So you, I just tear it to open it. So this film right here, you put it in, but this is always the first one to come out when you take a picture and then you just discard it when it does come out. To turn it off, you just push it down and the lights go off and your camera's off. But you know, to turn it on, you press the power button right there. So for, I open this piece. There's already some film in it, but obviously it's all gone. So you take it out, empty, throw it away. And whatever rainbow piece is hanging out, you have to make sure it go like you can see it when it goes in so just like this and push it and close oh and you have to push it in sometimes a little harder because it has to close like that yeah to tell you guys the first film i told you always comes out but this is a layer to protect it because you got to keep it in the dark but this comes out first because you discard this this is trash and now it's ready to be set up I'm gonna go to single so it only uses one film. I choose a photo through my gallery photo. So I'm gonna look through my gallery and see which photos I want, which photo I want to print out. Okay guys, I decided to print out a picture of my dog when he was little. This is actually so big now. He's actually turned one years old. They're actually really big. So what you do, you go to the next in the corner and this is the photo and you place it on your phone. If you have a very big case, my case is really thin, you should take it off because it's not gonna detect that it's working. So yeah. Basically, here's a Polaroid camera. You place it on your phone like so. These three lights are gonna flash to let you know it's ready. I don't know if you heard that, I was probably talking, but it made a ding and when it makes a ding, you hold this red button and it comes out but obviously it has a cover over it so yeah okay when the covers is I take the cover off and obviously it has to be left in a dark room Ooh. I think I took the cover off too early and it made like the ink in the camera I don't know this might be just a little old I have to throw almost a year but I place it in a dark room I'm gonna place it in this uh, box where my Polaroid camera came in so I'm going to place it in there, close the box up, and let it sit for like 10 minutes. Okay guys, for this clip right here, I um, don't really want to add it because my camera actually ended up getting jammed. And it got jammed when I was at a baseball game and a picture wouldn't come out. So it was still jammed from that and I totally forgot. But I ended up getting it unjammed I'm going to... Mm. I'm going to show you guys a picture I actually ended up taking. It came out really nice, but it wasn't of the desk. I ended up getting it unjammed the next day, and I brought it with me when I went to a San Diego park. And I took a picture, and I'm going to show you guys it next right now. Okay, here's the opening reveal. Here's the box. I never actually use this type of film, so this might, this is new to me too. He's so cute. <laughs> I love my dog, but this is basically it. It is colorful. Obviously, whatever film you buy is a, depends on what kind of vintage quality you're going to get. So this is it. This is the picture from my Polaroid Lab and how it came out. This was really fun. I love this video. I love to film. I love to film these type of videos. But I just want to make sure y'all see it. Kept it in a dark room. Don't try to shake it off. That doesn't usually work and it kind of makes the picture bad. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And give me to 500 subs. That would mean so much. I'm sorry if it looked like I've been crying. I just coughed and choked and everything. But I'm just going to end the video out here. And please tune in to my next video, guys. Because I'm very consistent. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.